Hello, my name is Prime, and welcome back to ETS2 Showcases, and today I'm going to be taking my first look at the Tearson Trailer Pack DLC for ETS2, a wonderful trailer pack indeed, with some pretty high quality trailers. I've got the SRI version today, which is the Reefer Tearson trailer, and you can trick these trailers out a lot. And when I say trick out, I mean customize these wonderful trailers, six of them to be exact, which include two different container trailers, one for a 40 footer and one for a 20 foot container, a flatbed with some side rails on it which is the slp there is a curtain cider trailer there is a tipper trailer and then the sri which we are using today which is a reefer now keep in mind each trailer may offer some different customization options so for today's example i'm going to go through the reefer and then the flatbed with the side panels just so you have an idea between a couple of the trailer types so for the reefer we have the single chain type which then only one body option and chassis version as well and moving on to paint schemes this is completely based off of what you have in terms of dlcs by default it will be the Tearson classic skin, but you can do some of the other basic and then solid color options as well. And in terms of accessories, there are a few on this reefer trailer. Starting off, you can add a little banner here to the front of the trailer. Uh, the light patterns, unfortunately, are all standard. You can change three different versions of the fenders or flaps for that matter around the tires. And in terms of side protection and boxes, there are plenty of options that are painted, non-painted, some just plastic boxes and including uh, the way down at the bottom here uh, there should be a pallet box yes there it is and also on the side you can add an extinguisher just by the fifth wheel moving around to the back just behind the axles you can add in a few different things from plastic boxes to spare tires and painted boxes as well the rear of the trailer have a few different designs some including a window there are three options for the bumper of this trailer and you have some rear mud flaps as well the standard Tearson and the Tearson UK variant and onto the SPL, which is the flatbed with side panels. We have, a, once again, a single chain type, but we have two body types. Off of initial glance, it seems like it just changes the side panels, but it still gives a pretty cool effect. Once again, we only have a single chassis option. And most surprisingly to me, there is only one paint job color, which is Tearson White. And in terms of accessories, they are very similar with what we just saw with the reefer. However, there are a few differences, including at the front, we can add a plastic box, an extinguisher, or even a ladder to the front of this trailer. Once again, along the sides, you have the same side skirt options. In terms of fenders, you have two options. Just behind the axles, you have the same options as the reefer. But for the bumper, we have five options in total, differing in taillight style and allowing different paint options and also the exclusive trim. Overall, a very solid DLC in terms of customization, and I'm just happy to have another trailer brand in ETS2. So for today's delivery, we are here in the east side of the West Balkans DLC in Novi Sad, and we're going to head up out of the West Balkans DLC into Hungary and we're going to go up to Budapest today. We're hauling some goat cheese in this Reefer Tiersen trailer and we're hauling all this today with the MAN TGX truck. Let's go ahead and get this truck started up and get on the road. Also keep in mind, there are no mods being run in this profile today. Everything you see in here is ETS2. Uh, there is actually a reason for that. I was going to uh, this episode for those who watched the previous episode here on the channel, um, or at least previous ETS2 showcase, I was going to run mods today. Um, and I decided not to, uh, mainly because the Tears and Trailer Pack released, which is, well, what we're doing today, the very first look. And so I decided, you know what, we're going to just push it off one episode and we're going to kind of do a really neat uh, mod next time out, one that I think uh, everyone uh, will be kind of happy to see uh, kind of come back into ETS2, but it's slightly different as well. Um, it's going to be pretty neat indeed, at least in my opinion. I'm I'm, I'm very happy about my plan here, if you can't tell. Uh, but even still, it's, uh, I think it'll be a great episode. So we're just delaying it one episode, uh, so we can also do an another amazing episode. Well, I'm hoping it will be an amazing episode, uh, which is this one today. Hopefully everyone's doing well, enjoying playing ETS2 and or ATS, or just any game for that matter. Hopefully everyone is doing well and enjoying themselves. And also, hopefully everyone enjoyed their Halloween and stayed safe and got lots of candy, you know, all that good stuff. Hopefully everyone's doing well uh, just overall. And hopefully this video finds you well, even if you're watching this in the future and you may be thinking that I'm kind of going a little crazy because, well, um, it's not Halloween or whatever. Uh, this video is being recorded uh, actually on Halloween day and will be published the day after. Uh, so just uh, keep that in mind in the future just so uh, you don't think I'm going crazy. 
Overall, though, it's wonderful to be back here in the West Balkans DLC. We've actually got to exit here, so I'm going to do that so we don't take the wrong or go the wrong direction. I really don't feel like doing that today. Um, great to be here in the West Balkans DLC, and of course, we're going to head out of it, actually. Uh, I haven't done that in quite some time here in ETS2, so we're going to try and drive somewhere else and go into Hungary, and we're going to go over to Budapest, uh, as I mentioned, with this goat cheese in the, this reefer trailer, and uh, it's nice to be driving the MAN TGX GX version today. Um, same truck model I've driven the last few times with this MAN, uh, but to be honest, I really love this trim. That's why I guess there's a little bit of a bias there, or I say a little bit, a lot of bias, let's be fair. Um, I just really enjoy the truck. Simple as that. But even still, it is wonderful to be back here in the West Balkans. As I said, we're going to head out, kind of explore some of the other areas. And I don't even know if I've actually ever been to uh, Budapest in the ETS2, believe it or not. Uh, I haven't really gone too many areas or I haven't really explored the eastern section of the ETS2 map that well in all... Uh, in all honesty, I'm not... <laughs> I have to uh, do a lot of catch-up in terms of exploring the ETS2 map because it is quite large, uh, especially when I haven't been uh, driving an ETS2 for a crazy long time. For those who are new around here on the channel, first of all, welcome. And second of all, I started off with ATS actually right when ATS released way back in 2016. However, I was not doing YouTube at that time, uh, but since uh, I've always been playing in the same save and stuff like that, or similar saves at least. Uh, I've been playing ATS for a lot longer than ETS 2, that's all you really need to know, long story short. And so whenever I decided to, you know, when I started YouTube and started doing a lot with ATS and as the channel continued to grow, decided let's branch out into ETS 2 as well to cover both facets of the game, and I'm so happy that I did, let's face it, because ETS 2 was kind of, well, it came first before ATS, and uh, I kind of did an opposite progression generally for a lot of people, uh, at least a lot of people who have been around the SES software realms of games even longer than I have, uh, but you know what, it's, it's the way it is, but I have a lot of exploring to do, and so it's nice to branch out and do some different things around uh, the ETS2 map while trying to also cover some of the new areas of these DLCs and while well, we're still covering them right now which is kind of neat but eventually we'll head out uh, we'll be getting out of uh, the West Balkans DLC here which I think this is technically Serbia I do believe maybe I can't I can't even remember now I'm gonna that's I'm gonna I'm gonna get that so wrong and it's gonna be uh, just absolute roasting in the comments so uh, don't just don't mind me <laughs> don't mind me we're just going to uh, forget about where we are and I'll focus on the fact that we're going to Hungary and that's really all that matters uh, let's talk about well first of all the cruising the Balkans uh, event which this delivery will count towards as well and also the Halloween event as well I know I've had a lot of messages from people and people commenting on videos saying that they've already completed the events which is fantastic good on you guys unfortunately Unfortunately, I'm lagging a little bit behind. Uh, obviously, this will count towards the delivery, or at least from Novi Sad. I guess it won't into Budapest, as far as I know. I don't think it's technically um, in the other DLC, which I'm blanking on the name of right now, uh, that would count towards that. So uh, we're majorly speeding here. Uh, and luckily, I'm in the correct lane. I think I'm going to go around the, through the truck uh, area here. I may have to um, do so... I'm not going to lie, one of my other deliveries I was doing, because uh, what I was going to get into is that I've been doing some off-camera um, progression on my uh, uh, on the save here, and I don't actually notice if uh, if they have it here. Uh, there's these, uh, there's an x-ray uh, Oh, don't want to hit the sign, that was mighty close. Ah, actually not too bad, cab over. Perspective is a little bit off here. Um, Whenever um, I was doing some other deliveries within the West Balkans DLC, um, I actually noticed that there was these, I want to say, they were like drive-through x-ray machines. But it only happened with a couple deliveries, in particular the box trailers. Well, I guess that makes sense, let's face it. They have to scan what uh, what's going through. And we may actually have one up here on the entry um, here to Hungary. Uh, but yeah, I can't quite tell. We'll have to see as we roll up through here. Uh, but it was actually really cool. I didn't even know those were part of the border checkpoints. And I got to kind of learn something new there. So I thought that was pretty neat, if you ask me. And uh, I don't know if we'll get to experience that today. Uh, but hopefully in future deliveries we will. Because that was pretty cool. Drive in. It does a bit of a 
cutscene. There's a scan over the truck and trailer, and then you get to go on your way. Uh, so I thought that was, uh, yes, I thought that was pretty neat and something I wasn't expecting. And unfortunately, it wasn't on camera based on, well, I did it off. I wasn't recording at the time, and I honestly wasn't expecting that to happen. I was just trying to go between, well, it was going between a couple of the countries in the West Balkans DLC. And, uh, uh yeah, I just did not expect, did not expect to see that. But I was happy, though, uh, that I was able to, uh, I was able to experience that, however. But still, great on you guys, though, to be able to complete the event so quickly. And uh, I know I've got to step up my game in, in terms of uh, getting stuff done a little bit quicker. But uh, it will come. It will come, people. And uh, I know I've had some suggestions like, why don't you stream, uh, you know, the the be completing these events, which would be a fantastic idea, and I do plan to do that in the future. However, unfortunately, right now, um, it's just not in the cards, at least as a more just on the fly. Let's just do a stream, do this and that. Unfortunately, uh, I can't just do that um, as of right now, but that doesn't mean that will change in the future, and I'm hoping that does change for the better, and uh, we'll have to go with that as we uh, as we continue to grow around here and uh, ver or just kind of improve and change and, you know, all that good stuff but yes events i'm happy to see that everyone's enjoying them um because i certainly am enjoying them indeed and they're fantastic events being able to explore around the dlc and or dlcs or whatever section of the map you may have and uh, it's just really fun to do that and contribute and get some free rewards while you're at it now some other big news around ATS and ETS2, and we'll talk on the ETS2 facet today. Um, about 1.49, we're gonna actually get try and get by. Just hold on there. We're gonna use our tiers and trailer to block off traffic. Play some blocker. Uh we'll see AI here. Um, big news about 1.49. Particular, well, I guess it applies to both ATS and ETS2, but for today's video, I'll focus on ETS2. Am I gonna get past that truck there? I'd really like to. He's just hanging out right beside me. How lovely. Can I get through? Okay, we're gonna just go. Okay, we're gonna get over here now, and he's gonna have to live with it. <laughs> Anyways, big news 1.49. Uh, starting off with, I'll actually do it in reverse order. Uh, we have used truck dealers coming to ETS2 and ATS, but ETS2 uh, in 1.49, which is going to be very, very neat. And I know a lot of people are really big into the more. Uh, what we'll call survival mode or campaign mode of the game where well it's the way it's intended you build a company from the ground up and the economy is very important in terms of selecting your truck and trying to make the best out of how much money you spend and so on and so forth and grow the company to be a big empire the used truck dealers has been something that's been well requested of SES software in particular for ETS2 for years I'm pretty sure there's been talk about this uh, even slightly before um, ATS was even announced or uh, or at least a released at that matter. Uh, so it's been a number of years uh, that the used truck dealer has been kind of in the talks from people because it's a great idea to add and finally SCS Software has added that and I think it would be really neat because it also comes with new damage uh, modeling. Well, I say modeling. I don't want to get anyone uh, anyone's hopes up in terms of physical damage at least that you can see or visible damage on the trucks because uh, as far as I know that is not included with that but it is a different a damage uh, simulation there we go uh, of and how it's managed because parts will be separated a little bit more uh, so when you're looking for a used truck some of the parts will have these are just straight up damage like slight wear or permanent wear uh, and there are certain aspects of those that can be replaced and and, and touched up or repaired, whatever. And then some that you'd have to basically do a full-on overhaul of the entire truck, which of course would be very costly. And so in terms of used trucks, uh, they will vary in mileage and price and quality as well. Uh, so that's something that we'll have to keep in mind, just as if you're trying to find a used truck in real life. We're going to try and get over here, pass some of these AI. Not sure what they're up to, um, possibly. They're just speeding up again. Okay, never mind. We'll just uh, go back over here and uh, not mind that <laughs> okay that guy gonna finally pass them i think so don't really know what they're doing maybe maybe we'll join them because we are moving oh we're not actually doing because there's an ai behind us almost pulled out and cut someone off lovely good old prime driving classic um anyways used truck dealers will be a really neat addition in my opinion and i think will be quite welcomed by everyone whether you use it a lot or not we don't really know but the fact that it's there it's a 
principal thing. And especially with the damage, we can then repair um, the things that we want to repair. Simple as that. Um, you know, there's there's a little bit more uh, play in that uh, for us, and we can customize what money we're going to spend on repairing things, and I'm sure costs will be... Um, well, I just almost swerved into the lane with traffic there. That blue car came out of nowhere, in my opinion. I mean, I, to be honest, I was also looking at a different screen, monitoring my recording briefly there, so I think my eye drifted a little bit too far past the mirror. Because <laughs> I actually have... So I have a, a separate monitor on my what would be my left-hand side, so of course that still applies for um, viewing this video. And that's where I have... Uh, the preview of what's being recorded and stuff through OBS. So I was just making sure everything in the audio levels and everything is seemingly fine for you guys. Making sure everything's running smooth and uh, I dearly just cut a guy off and sent him into the shadow realm of the barrier. So that would, <laughs> that would not have been a very fun day as well and definitely not a good insurance conversation either about what happened there. Or for the matter of the cops when they have to try and explain what happened with the accident. That would have been brutal. Anyways, talking more about 1.49, we have some really cool lighting and just the environment changes as well that will be coming in as well. For those who remember back in 1.40, if I remember correctly, we had the revolutionary lighting change uh, that, well, makes ETS2 the way it is today. Whoa, off the road. Pay attention there, Prime. <laughs> no cinematic cam on a corner. You should know better. You've been doing this for a number of years now. Come on, get, get better. Uh, anyways, revolu revolutionary lighting change, which we all know and love, uh, really made ETS-2 and ATS just another step above seeming how great they were before, made them ever more realistic. And we actually got to get over here because we're already in Budapest, believe it or not. Um, made them so much better. And so in 1.49, the lighting is going to have kind of a phase two. So it will include HDR skyboxes, which some of you may say, well, aren't the skyboxes right now kind of HDR? Uh, yes and no. Um, they will be proper HDR skyboxes uh, in 1.49, which basically just means it will look even more vibrant and the colors will, you know, have better contrast from dark and light and so on. And the main focus of this with, of course, the HDR skyboxes, uh, we're just going to roll through this light here, don't mind me. Um, <laughs> main focus was nighttime. Uh, nighttime driving in ATS and ETS 2 has been very much, well, I want to say maybe more basic. I mean, as, as much as night driving can be, there's really no life. Because, well, there's no moon, but that will be changing in 1.49, friends. Yes, 1.49 will bring in the moon and some twinkling stars and dynamic stars and lighting in the sky even more than just occasional, you know, shooting stars or whatever they'll do occasionally now. There'll be proper uh, sky simulation with uh, like lunar reflections and stuff on, on water and everything, of course, depending on your graphics quality, I assume uh, that will be dependent. But uh, as we pull in here, I'll just continue yabber on about 1.49. We've also got uh, some lightning additions as well. So the weather effects have also had a bit of a change. Let's see if I can reverse into the spot here quite well. Test this Tearson trailer and its maneuverability. Seems like it's going to be quite fine. But there, there will be actual visible lightning, not just thunder in thunderstorms that we have right now. There'll be proper lightning that we'll be able to witness, uh, and will be, of course, dynamic in storms and so on, which is going to be very neat. I mean, it's not the most square onto the receiving area that it could do, but you know what? That's, that's really not too bad, I don't think, um, when it's all said and done at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and get rid of that little info... Uh, info box and uh, come to the outside here and thank you guys so much for watching yes lightning in 1.49 the used truck dealers the moon everything the next update 1.49 for ets2 and ats of course but ets2 in particular will be fantastic and uh, it's going to be really exciting to see what happens great first look with the tears and trailer albeit i really didn't talk about it as much because, well, it is a trailer at the end of the day, but it's really nice to have another branded trailer here in ETS2. I'm just happy about branded content in general. Of course, we have the trucks and so on, but it's nice to have branded trailers as well with the realism that they do bring. And uh, it's really nice to see the different variants as well. Be kind of one to suit pretty much everyone's needs here in ATS2. And I think it'll be 
pretty neat and I'm, who knows it may even expand the fleet in the future you never know uh, but it's great great dlc i would recommend it uh, obviously that's your discretion because there are some other great trailer dlcs as well but i think i'll be using tears and trailers quite a bit along with uh, some of the other ones in ets2 as well once again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one